The patient information used in this tutorial is only for general informational purposes. We have used de-identified patient data as per public health information guidelines. Hello everyone, in this tutorial video we will guide you through claim status inquiry and claim scrubbing within the Expedia Medical Billing software. Log in to Expedia Medical Billing. First, let's go through Claim Status Inquiry feature. The Claim Status Inquiry or CSI feature allows for quick status checks for submitted claims. By default, this feature is disabled. Request the admin to enable it for your account. The responses, which are aligned with the original claims, are swiftly provided in real time across various screens. Go to the search menu. Select Claims from the drop down and enable claims eligible for status inquiry to find claims eligible for status inquiry. Note that this depends on whether the payer supports claim status inquiry or not. When enabled, claim status becomes unpaid and the claim closure status becomes opened. To check the status for previously inquired claims, use claim status inquiry performed dropdown and select either already performed or not performed. After choosing, click Search. Search results will show a list of claims on your screen. Check one or more claims using checkboxes, then tap on Check Status for real-time status inquiry. After the inquiry, you can view real-time status or check from the Claim Status Inquiry Performed drop-down by selecting Already Performed. The list of claims for which inquiries have been performed will appear. In the search results, the fifth icon is for claim status inquiry history. Click on it to open a screen with claim details, inquiry ID, batch ID, patient, payer info, creation date, created by, and two icons on the right. Click on the second view response icon to see response details, including inquiry info, Payer, Receiver, and Provider Details, Claim Status Response, and Claim Status Information. An alternate way to check responses is by going to the Claim Status Inquiries under Claim Search. A Claim Status Real-Time Inquiry screen will pop up. Use different search features like Claims and Response Category Code or Status Code. Choosing Response Category Code or Status Code will reveal two codes, Category Code and Status Code, which are compliant with HIPAA standards. Paid and finalized claims are listed below, and to check responses, simply click the second icon on the right. Next, we will go through Claim Scrubbing feature. The scrubbing process applies to claims with errors, clearing house rejections, or payer denials for various reasons. Choose Claims from the Search drop-down. Enter the relevant criteria and corresponding claim status, then click on the Search option. The Claim Search Results screen shows details like claim status, professional or institutional, primary or secondary, claim history, claim ID, batch ID, date of service, and more. Different statuses of claims are validating, pass, Error, Completed, Sent, Accepted, Rejected, Waiting to be Posted, and Posted. To find attachments, click on the Claim Attachments icon. And for notes, click on the Note icon. Click the Edit Claim icon to edit. And resubmit the claim of your choice. When you open an Error or Rejected or Denied claim, the list of errors will appear at the top. Click on the errors, and the corresponding boxes with errors will be highlighted in red. Make required edits on the fixed claim screen and submit to revalidate the claim. The status changes to pass. If not, it will remain error. You can repeat the scrubbing process until the claim is error-free. Expedium helps you keep track of errored, rejected, and denied claims. Following validation, you can search for claims in error status using the Claim Search or Search Errors feature in the menu. 
Error claims are claims identified as errors by the Expedium medical billing software using its validation process. Once a claim is entered into the system, it is automatically placed in a validation queue. If the validation process finds that the claim doesn't meet the necessary criteria, it is flagged as error. Multiple errors can occur for a single claim during validation. To find error claims, you can use individual filters or a combination of filters. After selecting the required filters, click on Search. Errors search results screen shows error details with codes, descriptions, and HICFA or UB block numbers. Click List Claims for claim details linked to an error. Make edits. And resubmit. Note that one claim can have multiple errors, so the records and claims may not always match. Click Edit Claim to make changes to the claim. Go to the Error field, correct the error, and resubmit the claim. You can search and resubmit rejected claims through the Search Rejections menu. Typically, rejected claims are declined at an early stage within the clearinghouse due to one or more errors. To search for rejected claims, you can use any individual filters or a combination of filters. The Rejections search results screen lists rejection codes with descriptions ordered by frequency. Note that the codes may appear as random numbers due to their non-standard source. A black icon denotes a denial from non-standard reports, while a green one indicates denial from the claim status response. Click List Claims to see claims matching the rejection code, with a code description at the top. Modify and resubmit each claim using the Edit button. The posted claims which are denied or zero paid can be searched using Search Denials menu. Denied claims are those rejected by the payer for various reasons, including remark codes, reason codes, and reason group codes. To search for denial claims, use any individual filters or a combination of filters. The reason code view shows denied claims based on the reason codes and reason group codes. Click List Claims to view denied claims linked to the selected reason group or code, with reason group code, reason code, and description at the top. Use the Edit button to make necessary claim modifications and resubmit it after ensuring the updates are correct. Another view categorizes denied claims by remark codes. Click List Claims to see claims denied with the selected remark code, with the remark code and description at the top. Use the Edit button to make any required claim modifications and resubmit it once updates are confirmed. You can view the claim by clicking on the claim ID. Additionally, you have the option to either close or reopen denied claims. Log in to Expedium Help. Refer to Chapter 7 of the User Manual to find out more about claim status inquiry and claim scrubbing. That's all for this session. Thank you.